I'm Sir Tap Tap. Let's play Departing of the Sensory by Jesse Abram. This is a Litum Dare 26 game. Uh, the theme was minimalism, so that's probably why we've got this whole thing going on here. The seizure colors. I graduated from art college two months previously. It was an enriching experience for me all in all, but it left me with an itching dissatisfaction. I got to thinking more and more about the relationship between sense and perception, form and interpretation. You shouldn't really know the difference between those two unless you studied psychology. Not that that would really help you get a job all that much better, he said, having a psychology major. I guess you could call it a disconnect between reality and the interpretation of reality. An icing on a can of worms cake, the artistic interpretation of reality. The more I began to comprehend just how free I was to reinterpret, the less appealing the input itself became to me. It just became a whole lot of chaff for me to sift through. Art became a chore, and reality became a coal mine of raw material. It startled, it started to feel pointless in itself, a larval state for something that I would be required to coax into metamorphosis. Now I know that what you're all thinking right now. How precious, look at the little art student takes a couple of classes and suddenly he thinks he's the great masters. Looks like he's taking the textbook a little too seriously. And I even think it myself sometimes. I feel pretentious even writing this right now. But then I swish the thoughts around in my head a bit more and realize that my thoughts were right on the mark, not just overdramatic fantasy. And life starts to lose its color again. The screen didn't dim. The screen didn't desaturate when he said that. Minus 50 points. I spend a lot of time in bed. Me too. It's called sleeping. Sometimes I'd have a stretch of a few days where I'd try putting a brush to canvas to see if I could satisfy myself by putting some sort of some of my perceptual realities into the real world. But then it hit me. It was like a feedback loop. By forming art, I was taking my new pure ideas and sending them back into mine. Back into the rough, hewn, filthy reality that spawned them. My words bounced back and forth in my head, through my eyes, and I saw them the same dirty light in which I was seeing everything else, I had to reinterpret them anew. Wow, so Congregate apparently like flashes this, let me show you this, um, no. It gives you this, enjoying this game? You should rate this. I've been playing this game for 2 minutes and 44 seconds, Congregate, just keep your panties on. Like seriously, that was like, very distracting. Anyway, the I whoa, 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 whoa. Calm down there. Just, 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 you keep your panties on too. Just everybody maintain the current amount of panties that you are currently wearing. Just no ups or downs. Just, just calm down, everyone. All right. The idea that followed was to make minimalism my focus. Before that, I've been seeing art as a way to make uh, this, this game's just me reading text again. It, I, I'm calling it right now. This game is just me reading text. I, I honestly don't have a problem with that, but if you don't want to watch me reading text, I'm not sure if you can watch that. But yeah, this might not be the video for you. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and assume that. Where, where was I? Before that, I'd been seeing art as a way to make the real world and evolve it to, to, dress it, to dress it up in something fancier. Maybe I was heading in the wrong direction. My new theory was that if I took reality backwards to a primal, pre-real state to put it onto canvas and then, re then interpreted that, maybe I'd finally be at peace with what I saw. But the best laid plans and all that jazz hands. The theory is great, but in reality it just led to more dissatisfaction, moping, and daytime sleep. I now stand in the midst of my self-ditch, last-ditch effort. I've come to this place in the moments. It holds a lot of fond childhood memories for me. I figure there was one place I could formulate a whole encompassing planet to be at peace with reality. It would be here, either through acceptance of what it was, or through the purification of an ultimate philosoph philosophy of minimalism. You encounter a small cluster of pretty flowers down by the river. No! I'm not gonna smell your flowers! I'm not part of your system, man! Throw the bird on the ground! Throw the trout on the ground, too! Screw him! Screw his little trout family! What? What? 
Stab right here with your pair of scissors. Um... Yes. You encounter a... <laughs> I just stabbed myself in the ear, and I'm like, Hey, pretty flowers. Internal bleeding. Yay. We're, we're gonna smell the... You deserve to smell the flowers, kid. You see a bird on the ground. Yeah, we're, we're gonna watch the bird. <laughs> he just doesn't care. He's, he's got it. Yeah. I stabbed my left ear already. I just, do I have to not stab my ear? Oh. Are you just gonna infinite loop? Uh, are you kidding? Why, why? Wait. Stab right eye with your pair of scissors. Now we're talking. Y-E-S. <laughs> you encounter some pretty flowers. Smell the pretty flowers. Watch the bird. Muse about its progress. Stab my eye. <laughs> oh. Well. There goes my eyes. This happens to thousands of art students every year. It's not funny, kids. Donate to the Art Student Rehabilitation Program today.